If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Meg The Stallion was all over Trey Songs last night, and Tory Lanez drops the video for Beauty in the Benz. Plus, French Montana gets rushed to the hospital. Let's talk hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay, so this is crazy as hell, right? That's Meg The Stallion in the club um, with Trey Song. So basically it was Trey Song's birthday. Um, he had a bunch of people around and I seen another clip where her, she was just celebrating, yeah, happy birthday and everything was like normal. And of course celebrities are gonna invite other celebrities to like their birthday party, right? But this looked like a little bit more than that, right? Because then as you can see, Trey Song's is just there, he's chilling or whatever. And he was trying to play it off real smooth. And I mean, Trey Song's like always been like mad smooth, right? But here's Meg The Stallion, right? All in his face. First First of all, all I gotta say is, if that's Trey Songz's birthday, right, you would think that he would have his girl there or somebody he's messing with or bring a little date, right? And it was none of that. The, the closest woman to him was Meg Thee Stallion and she didn't act like he was there with no other female, right? So I don't know, but she was all over him. She was like dancing on him, going all down on him and stuff like that. Look, all I got... <laughs> All I gotta say is, I, I don't know what happened. They was just getting real cozy, right? Either something was about to happen that night or something already did happen, right? Um, but let, here's another clip. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Lucky tonight. When we leave this party, who's gonna fuck me All right, all right, all right, all right, Trey. You can sit, man. I was just You took it over the kitchen away from me. Y'all see how like she's like all up in his face, she's singing with him, damn near kissing him, right? Um, then when he's like, when we leave this party, she gon' fuck me tonight. She's like dying, laughing. She's like, ah, oh! you know, like funny as hell, right? And I don't know, man, but I, of course, Meg Thee Stallion was probably drunk. She was having fun. She was chilling. She was doing her thing, but like she was really all over Trey songs, right? But don't like Meg Thee Stallion got a man. Like she's with money. Bag yo, well, I know she was with Money Bag yo, but Trey Songs is Mr. Steal Your Girl. That's the whole thing. Like you, this nigga's name is Mr. Steal Your Girl, okay? And he in the club with somebody girl, right? I, if, if he was, if Trey Songs, come on, Trey Songs probably just fucked Meg Thee Stallion because he can, like he's Trey Songs. You know what I'm saying? Here's another clip. <laughs> Wait a second, was that Casanova in the yo Casanova in the VIP with them? Like, yo, let me tell you something. I don't know, they getting mad cozy. And I might have to be like, yo, Cass, what up? Because it looked like Casanova, yo, Casanova was there watching the whole thing, but I, he probably ain't gonna tell because, you know, niggas don't be telling on other niggas, you know what I'm saying? And whatever, right? But this is funny as hell, right? So somebody on Twitter uh, basically was like, yo, Meg Thee Stallion, was it worth it? What trigger hitting for, sis, right? You know, just people like funny ass fans, right? And she goes, I ain't hit, so I don't know, LOL. She's lying, she lying, right? Well, I don't know, you know, I wasn't there, but come on, like, why wouldn't they? That's all I'm saying, right? It's Trey Songz and Meg Thee Stallion, and come on, yo, if Trey Songz, the whole thing is that if they didn't, right, then that's just because Trey Songz turned it down and was like, nah, I ain't trying to, because I'm telling you right now, the way that Meg Thee Stallion was acting, Trey Songz could have definitely, definitely had Meg Thee Stallion, right? So then Meg goes on Twitter and she's like, why y'all want me to be a whole so 
bad, LOL. I've only dated one person that y'all know about. Um, all this other shit is rumors and lies. I ain't addressing shit. <laughs> Bye. You know what I'm saying? Look, it ain't rumors and lies because we seen you, right? Nobody said, oh, they was in the club, cuddled up or whatever. She was all up on him or whatever. And then nobody seen that. We seen that. You know what I'm saying? From every angle and everybody around you and VIP was taking fucking uh, pictures and videos and shit like that. So we seen it. But uh, yo, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. All right, Joe, so Tory Lanez dro drops the um, video for Beauty in the Bins, right? And this video is fire, right? So the whole situation is, y'all know Chicks Take Five has been like hitting, right? Um, and every song to me on there is fire. I think probably my favorite song on the whole joint is either the T-Pain joint, Jerry Sprunger, or that song with um, Fabulous on it because Fabulous like spells out his name, F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S, just like he used to do back in the day, right? When I heard him say that, he's like, this got me thinking back, this got me linking back. I'm like, yo, like Fab is like really on his like 2001 type shit. All he could have said was da 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 damn, and that would have been it for me, right? Um, but anyway, so Tory Lanez came out with the video for Beauty and the Benz, which is his song that he did sampling Beautiful by uh, Snoop Dogg and Pharrell. You know that, beautiful, I just want you to know, like that song right there, right? And that shit is fire, right? The song, is that's one of my favorite songs by Snoop Dogg anyway, right? So when uh, Tory Lanez decided that he wanted to redo it, I was like, yo, this is dope. Um, I love the way they flipped the sample and everything like that, but the beat is fire too. Um, um, and the video is dope, right? So, first of all, Tory Lanez does not show his face at all in the video. Tory Lanez ain't in the video, right? Neither is Snoop. So it's just like a bunch of like beautiful black women um, who are like all in the video just showing like their curves and their complexion, like all different shades of black women, right? All different sizes, dark skins, light skins, brown skins, braids, afros, weave, whatever. And, and the whole watching this video just makes me feel like, Oh my God, like, and they were like the, a bunch of black women like surrounding this little like 10 year old boy, like almost like they're protecting him, like just like giving him like the magic, like, or like the strength of the ancestors. Like I should have been like in that video, just like, ah, like I, if I would have been on set with them, I'd have felt comfortable because I'd have felt like, yes, like I'm around these black women, these protectors, you know what I'm saying? Like it was fire. Um, Alicia Keys was in the video too, right? She did a little cameo. She was just talking about beauty and how who cares about your imperfections or your scars or, you know, your shape or your size. If as long as you find that you are beautiful, then you are beautiful, right? And it almost looked like she was doing like a round table kind of talk and that she was talking to other black women, like those black women there. Um, and it was just dope. Now, so all the black women that are in the video, I'm sure they're like, you know, bloggers or models or like really prestigious just black women but I just don't know like their names I didn't see any recognizable faces besides Alicia Keys but like there was this one woman who was like on the uh, roof and she was like doing ballet and everything like that and I'm sure like she's a famous you know ballet dancer but I just don't know like everybody's name that was in the video right um but it was dope right and definitely better than you know and the last video for beautiful with Snoop Dogg and Pharrell was cool right they was in Brazil um they had a bunch of Spanish women beautiful ass women right but this one with Tory Lanez just focused on like beautiful black woman, which is, come on now. <laughs> you got to show love to the queens. You know what I'm saying? So this was fire, yo. Um, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. All right, Joe, so uh, yesterday, it was like the middle of the day, like, you know, 1.30 in the afternoon or whatever like that. Um, French Montana gets rushed to the hospital, right? So basically what happened was he was chilling in his crib, uh, whatever, right? So the police were called to his crib because uh, somebody said it was a robbery, right? Uh, but it wasn't no robbery or, robbery or no burglary and nothing like that. But anyway, the police did come. Uh, and when they got there, they seen that like French Montana was just like out of it, right? Um, and that he was having stomach pains and nausea and just all kind of stuff, right? Um, so the police actually was like, okay, cool, there's no robbery but we're gonna call an ambulance for you so that you could go to the hospital, right? Um, so they came to his crib, they rushed him to the hospital, um, and then there they like put him up on IVs and everything like that, right? Um, 
And then ever since then, you know, he was cool or whatever like that. Um, but the doctors were saying that his heart rate was like really elevated. Like, and if your heart rate gets like too fast, like you could end up having a heart attack almost, right? And basically what it seemed like was like French Montana was about to have a heart attack until they brought him back down when they plugged him up to the IVs and gave him a bunch of fluids and stuff like that, right? So it sounds like either one or two things, right? And I know that French Montana don't be on drugs or nothing like that, like serious or nothing like that. So, but it's one of two things. It's either like for fatigue and you just need some sleep and you've been traveling too much and you just got to sit down, take a break on vacation, um, relax, be off for a week or whatever like that. Or, um, dehydration, like, yo, grab, drink a bottle of water, my nigga. Like that's what it seems like to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, which is crazy, but, and that's what I'm saying because they gave him IVs and basically the IVs is just like fluids and stuff so that you can be hydrated again. And once they gave that to him, he was just fine. Right. Um, and then he was released from the hospital a couple of hours later right and now he's just chilling and relaxing but i really think it's because he's been just working too much maybe it's a mixture of both right you need to sit your ass down and take a break you've been working way too much right um and drink a bottle of water right um but anyway you know i just thank god that french montana is okay right um but let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell follow me at johnny fast on instagram and y'all already know what to do peace